hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel it's a go funny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new to this channel make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe like i said my name is funny lungu and on this channel we post reaction videos so if there is something in particular that you guys want us to react to drop the link in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to react to it you can follow us on instagram and um facebook wafani and jesse and you can check out my blog morning coffee with funny and jesse and just and i post some inspirational pieces so you guys can check them out follow my instagram safani l there's some uh, short quotes poems whatever you want to call them but check them out and just enjoy the content that i put out there thank you to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far you guys are the best thank you for is it 19 20 19,000 subscribers yeah i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed so today i'm going to be reacting to amid did that one of my faves and it's going to be answer where was the word allah lost by jews and christians this sounds interesting so without wasting time let's get into the video Uh, Mr. Dira, I'd like to find out from you. Uh, your books say that uh, the the word Allah uh, was used by the followers of by? Um, by the followers of the word Allah by by who by the followers of Jesus. Uh, oh, right, right. <laughs> by 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 all the Semitic religions. Yes, I by Semitic. I mean the religion of Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad. Yeah. The word for God Almighty is Allah. That's so, in my book. Yeah, so my question is, uh, how come only the followers of Ishmael have managed to retain the name Allah? Where did the name Allah get lost by the Jews? Yes, and I'll show you. You see, even in the Bible as the Christians have it. You have the Bible here. And in the Bible, if you have, you get one by Reverend Schofield. Translation of the King James Version by Reverend Schofield. And in his first chapter, first verse of the Bible called Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. Chapter 1 verse 1. You see there it says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. That's the first sentence of the Bible. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. Now we have a commentary. It has a commentary. Reverend Schofield, backed by eight DDs, not DDs, DDs, Doctors of Divinities. Eight DDs. And he gives an explanation that this word God in the Hebrew language is Elohim, which is a uni plural name. And also in Hebrew, El and Elah. And he spells the word Elah alternatively as a l a h as long as i was reading l i l i e l h e l h i couldn't see the connection that is allah but this reverend schofield i have the bible if you like to come along and see i have a photo start of that bible i give it to you it says a l e l a h alternately spelled as a l a h i said right if it's a l a h is allah you say Allah, I say, look, say Allah, my language, my language I want you to pronounce as I want you to pronounce. You see the English language, as the Englishman wanted me to pronounce, I pronounce it. Because when I went to school, in the primary stages of my schooling, I came from India, I didn't know A, B, C, D, I didn't know what a white man looked like, wallah, I didn't know anything. I was like a raw barbarian coming from India into South Africa. Started with A, B, C, D, ka, ka, ga, alib, be, te, se, shh. At the age of nine, I started four languages, one time, learning here, here in South Africa. So at school now, they teach me beauty bats, beauty cat, and beauty mat, and beauty rat, and beauty nut. Beauty, 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 what? Put. You know, that's, that's, that's funny. I'm telling my teacher, sir, this is very funny. You know, it's a beauty bats, beauty cat, and beauty mat, and beauty nut. Beauty, put. Us? No, 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 no. It doesn't agree with me. I say, did that. Don't try to be too clever. Hmm? Beauty is put. 
And if you don't say put, you won't pass your exams. So I said put and I passed my exams. <laughs> so I said, look, A-L-A-H is Allah. Say Allah. You try. And you say Allah. I said, no, no, try again. You say Allah. I said, not Allah. Say Allah. He said Allah. I said, okay. I, I, I forgive you. I forgive you. You see, the word is Allah. So in the language of Moses, Jesus and Muhammad, the word for God Almighty is Allah. Jesus Christ, supposed to be on the cross, he cried out with a loud voice. He said, Allah, Allah, lama sabahtani. Allah, Allah, lama taraktani. In, in Arabic, in Hebrew, Allah, Allah, lama sabahtani. In the, in the book of Revelation, chapter 19, it speaks about John the disciple. He saw at the vision in heaven. Angels singing in heaven. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. I am asking the Christians, what is alleluia? Hmm? Hippie puree. Does that mean hippie puree? <laughs> so, yeah, God made another star. 40,000 40, times brighter than our sun. So what the angel said? Hippie puree, alleluia, alleluia. I said, is that what they're doing? I said, no, no, no. I said, what is alleluia? The first time these people, the Christian, came to the city hall lectures of mine and they said, Alleluia! Alleluia! So I explained what Alleluia is. No more Alleluias. Finish. <laughs> Nobody says Alleluia anymore. Because you see, you are saying, Ya Allahu, Alleluia. Is Ya Allahu, Ya Allahu. Ya Allahu, Ya Allahu. This is what you are supposed to be singing. The angels singing in heaven. Ya Allahu, Ya Allahu. Ya, ya Allahu, Ya Allahu. This is it. I said, you, this is what you're saying. Hooray. Congratulations to you. You are still thinking of Allah. Ya Allahu. Alleluia is Ya Allahu. Ya Allahu. So, this word is still in the Bible, in every Bible, in every language. In the Zulu Bible is there. In the Khaza Bible is there. There is not a Bible in which this word Allah is not there. You come along and I'll show them to you. There is only one God, La ilaha illallah. A very interesting video. What I get from this is accents. Us accents can actually change a lot of things for us. Many times we find ourselves misunderstanding something or being misunderstood because uh, we pronounce certain words um, a certain way. Um, I mean, you can't really. As far as I'm concerned, I feel like I shouldn't take away meaning from something just because I pronounce it different than the way maybe a friend of mine would pronounce something. It doesn't kill the meaning. It doesn't take away anything. Uh, and in this case, they were talking about Allah being in the Bible and proof is given, which is very, very interesting. So how would someone argue with that if it's actually in the Bible? Yes, pronunciations are different when uh, the text is being um, explained but does that take away from what it really means um, we should be open to act we should be open to actually understanding as to why certain things are not used in these other religions we shouldn't be quick to judge i mean people that's what we humans are good at judging oh this says this that book says this i feel like we should learn from other books and see where why certain people don't follow a certain religion in this case and how they understand the term should it be used in the holy books otherwise i always love how ami didat explains things always coming with the proof and trying to make people understand that this is the case otherwise let me know what you guys actually think what are your thoughts about where the word Allah lost by Jews and Christians. Jews don't use the Bible per se. But does Allah appear in their Torah? That's another thing because this just spoke of the Bible. So yeah, let me know what you guys actually think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with friends. And of course, do not forget to subscribe. If there's something you want me to react to, drop the link in the comment section below. And I'll be more than glad to react to it. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.